Hey there, horror movie tea sippers. The following podcast episode will contain spoilers for the movie we are about to review. If you have not seen the movie and do not wish to have anything ruined prematurely, please do not continue to watch or listen until you have seen the movie. And welcome to the Horror Movie Tea Podcast. Today we are covering The Midnight Man. But before we go into the review, let's grab our cups and talk about tea. So today I am drinking the Republic of Tea Thinking of You Tea. It's got peppermint, chamomile, orange peel, creamy French vanilla flavor, and wintergreen flavor. And I think you should try this one. I think you might like it. Sounds good. I am also doing a repeat of the honey ginseng green tea from Republic of Tea. And it has green tea, natural flavors, linden blossoms. How in the hell do you pronounce that seriously? Eleuthero? Sure, we'll go with that. And Panax ginseng. <laughs> that one's weird. It's like E L U or E L E U T H E R O. Yeah. Let us know below how to pronounce that. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> it is really good, though. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Um, but thank you to the Republic of Tea for allowing us to continue to do what we love. And for our tea sippers out there, brew yourself a cup of tea, sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy the review. So for the summary, the Midnight Man is about a girl who accidentally summons a deadly entity during a game that preys on its victim's deepest fears. Um, Sounds about right. Yep. Um, So we have seen this one before. Yes. And I will say that this one, it's like one of those ones where whenever you say it, I'm just like, there's like other movies I think of, but whenever I watch it, I'm like, oh, goody, this movie. Like, I do really like this movie. I think they do a really good job. Um, I honestly am going to rate this like a 7.75. Like... First of all, the, I really enjoy the scares. The scares are actually pretty good and pretty creepy. Oh, yeah. Like, especially, the, like, the mannequin one in the attic. Oh, my God. I hate that scene every time. And then I also <laughs> I know like... what's going to happen, and I still hate it. I also like how you see um, the the main character, like, up in the attic, and you just see the mannequin behind her, and you're like, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen, but nothing happens. Yes. And just leaves you hanging like that. Um, And, I mean, I guess this movie does have some jump scares, but I wouldn't really consider this, like, a jump scare No, I feel like they also typically have a purpose. Yes. Yeah. Like, they're not... They don't go overboard with the jump scares, first off. And when they do happen, they're purposeful with it. Yes. Yep. So it's not too bad. Yeah. For the most part, it's more of a a suspense and very tension built. Yeah. Kind of movie. Yeah, and, and Lynn Shea is in it. Yes, I and love she's her. Like fabulous in it. She is fabulous. I but I hate the grandma. Yes. But, I mean, but I love her. She does so, so well at making you not like the grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy because like whenever she's uh, like in the um, uh, Insidious movies, yes. she's such a lovely like person in those yes. movies. But then this character is completely the opposite where. Well, she's hot and cold. Yeah. Like, she has moments where she's the sweet grandmother. And so lovely and all, and you can see glimpses of, of who we believe she was. Yeah. And then you have moments where she is the creepiest person, and almost, bitch. apart from the the bad, the big bad in the movie. And you're sitting here like, can you please not? <laughs> Grandma. Yeah, like, Who's worse? Grandma. <laughs> yeah. Like, especially when the main character's like, in the bathtub <laughs> of blood. 
and it's she's on the blood. bed. And it's your blood. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. I, I love how you mentioned that though, because my first <laughs> sentence that I wrote about this movie <laughs> is Grandma Anna is super creepy. Great job. <laughs> uh, but um, and I do like that. You know, they they established that the game itself is very rules based, but that the entity itself will do whatever it can. He doesn't like to lose. Yeah. And so like the whole like towards the end, like the clocks being turned like that, you know, whenever you watch it, you're like, oh, OK, yeah, like that's kind of predictable. But like the very first time you watch it, at least for me. I was like, something doesn't seem right, but I can't understand. Or I was like, I don't understand, like, what... Because it chimed. Like, they should be fine, but mm-hmm. something doesn't feel right. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, my God. It's like, yeah, I'd be staying on there for, like, six hours. Just oh, hell case. yeah. I'm staying there until the sun comes up. Yeah. Screw that. No, nope, yeah. I'm good. I'm good right here. I'm going to sit my happy butt in this salt yeah. circle. Yep. We're going to play 50 questions and yep. just kind of sit here and wait it out. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, the, and I do think it's interesting how he, the actual, like, monster has, like, different masks that he changes Uh out that's, like, smiling and frowning. Yeah. And then the way that, um, he preys on people's fear, like, the way that he has them experience the fear does, I mean, that's, like, nightmare fuel. Oh, yeah. Um, and. Oh, God. And when he, like, sticks his fingers into their head. (laughs) <laughs> yeah yeah but it's like i will say this movie isn't like it does have some gore but it's not like gore for gore sake yeah. like it makes sense with mm-hmm. like what he's doing what they're experiencing it can still be gross but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. at the eyeball nearly popping kind of yeah <laughs> every time just you <laughs> Yeah, that was. Ugh, I don't know. Is that necessary? <laughs> right. Well, and then like, I'm though I am trying to understand the the girlfriend. It's like, uh, did it's like it seemed like she didn't really fully understand or take serious that it was real. And I'm like, oh, your friends are literally telling you, and you did it. And then you fucking died. Wait, which one? The the launcher girl, the one that like had. Uh, oh, the third wheel. Okay, yeah, the yes. third wheel. Yes. Oh, sorry, that's you not. You said girlfriend. I, so I'm sorry. Right. I, the girl, girl that is a friend. Space friend. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> the one that like comes over later after yeah. they've started the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that. I, oh, we'll get to that in realism. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but I also think it's really interesting, um, the story that they built where it's like the grandmother had done the game and, you know, she is the only survivor and then tricked the main character's mother into doing the game. And then That's your daughter. That was and then effed tricked. up. Yeah. But the fact that they connected it all, yes. I thought that was really cool. Yes. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it's also, like in the fact cameo that the cameo by Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Though he's a he's a good guy. Yes. <laughs> he's a good guy. He is. It's like speaking of Nightmare on Elm <laughs> Street. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah. No, I enjoy him in that role though. Yes. He did really well. So. But that's I what I got. Give this one a 7.5. And I would give it higher, except for the fact that you do kind of, at least I do, kind of forget about it. And then I'll see it randomly or think of it out of the blue and be like, oh, yeah, that movie. Yeah, I want to watch that again. Yeah, that's like, I feel similar. If I get the option for it, then, yeah, I'm going to watch it. But I don't think of it. <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I feel like this one is like... Kind of an A minus to B plus level movie, but it's really well done. Yeah. And it's got a couple of big names in it, but I heard nothing about it yeah. when it came out. I found it randomly 
and was like, sure, that sounds interesting. Why not? <laughs> yeah. And I don't think we mentioned this, but the Midnight Man is loosely based off of a creepypasta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good thing to know. Yes. And they do make that little nod in the movie, too, which I appreciate. Um, but it's it's an interesting storyline, interesting big bad. Um, I like that they have rules there and... For the most part, they do stick to them. So I do enjoy that. And it's it's not something that we've seen a whole lot of before. So that was pretty cool. Um, the characters, though, I were both awful with names. So I don't remember their yeah. names. Apart from Grandma Anna. <laughs> But they're varied enough that they don't blend together. Yeah. You know who's who. Well, and they also keep a very simple, uh, oh, slim yeah. cast. There's, yeah, it is a very slim cast. Um, the effects, for the most part, are really good. Um, a lot better than what I had initially expected going into the movie. <laughs> so, yay. Um, the Big Bad, again, is pretty creative. And I was living for it. <laughs> uh, I will say there are some silly. There are the, like the like dirt the, and like the, the water. Well, that was smart. It was smart, but it's also silly. Cause it's like, ha, I beat you <sighs> with dirt. <laughs> well, I also thought it was funny how he just, just moved his hand over there and book <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make the thing just start spewing water. Yeah. Um, there are some questions that I have because it's a rule-based big bad, but we'll get to that in realism as usual. Um, there was a, a bit of movies got a movie for the most part. It makes sense. And of course, a movie can't happen without those things happening, but it just seemed a bit... The initial start of it seemed a bit forced. Hmm. Just a bit. And it was kind of a gamble on the grandmother's part. Yeah. Fair. I feel like the secondary female character in the group, the third wheel, mm -hmm. was kind of unnecessary and mostly there for exposition. Yeah. And kind of an example of what would happen if the Midnight Man got someone. Yeah. So, I feel like she wasn't entirely necessary, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, they were inconsistent on a couple of things that kind of took me out of the, the experience just minorly. And they had moments that, a couple of moments that didn't really make sense in the pacing of the movie. Like when the friend's candle went out and they went to go look for the candle, they then decided to have a chat, a heart-to-heart -heart chat, about how they feel about each other. Like, yeah. is this really the time your friend is about to die? But sure, Let's go ahead and confess our feelings for each other and then have a chat with the doctor dude and just sit yeah. here all while she's being murdered. Sure. This yeah. is fine. Worst they didn't really friends seem... ever. Yeah, because they're like, we'll be right back. And then proceeds Worst to take the longest ever. time ever. Yeah. So long. <laughs> but, you know, this is fine. Um, the doctor, while I do love his character and he did a really good job, wasn't consistent in his character throughout. And it ended up in a movie's got a movie moment. Like, gotta have an extra scare in here. Gotta take out someone that's helping them. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> and the effects were good. In the vast majority of it, there were a couple of things that could have used a little bit more work 
like a lot of the blood looked a touch watery mm. and the bunny mask i cannot take that seriously <laughs> i can't i i just can't <laughs> so but yeah that's that's mostly what i have for entertainment most of what i had was for realism as usual <laughs> so you know oh man yeah realism is a toughie because i feel like a lot of what they're seeing was like in their head yeah um and you can get away with a lot with them yes well i guess mm, i don't know what to rate it but i will go ahead and walk through like my thoughts first Mm -hmm. i'd be really interested to find out who it was that established the rules Mm mm-hmm like, if it was just the Midnight Man, so that way he could lure victims, and he never intended from the beginning to really follow the rules, and but but that went, that also wouldn't make sense, because if he's creating his own rules, then that means that he doesn't even have to follow them at yeah. all. Um, so if it was someone, like an entity that's more powerful than the Midnight Man, and so he has to follow the rules... Uh, it's like, what is binding him to follow those rules? Like, what will happen if he doesn't? Mm-hmm. Will he, like, die? Or he loses those victims? Like, what is it? Yeah. Um, so We wanted a little bit more lore. We yeah. wanted more meat to the lore. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because um, that was a very specific ritual just to summon him (laughs) yeah it's a very specific rules-based ritual game in general only for him to be like yeah it's very loose yeah (laughs) they're guidelines yes they're they're (laughs) guidelines um the the grandma's motivation from my understanding, it's like she essentially has kind of like kind of got become insane. Right? Well, the doctor had said that's not your grandmother anymore. Like he basically semi possessed her mm. and was influencing her actions. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like she was under the influence of the Midnight Man. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Soft possession. Yeah. (laughs) As far as rating it goes... Do you want to listen to my reasoning, too? Sure. Yeah. You can go ahead. So, first off, with my rating, I give it a 2.5. I feel like the situation itself was a little forced. Um, It was also a gamble that... The granddaughter would have even opened the box. Right. Yeah. Especially while the grandmother was alive. (laughs) Like, she could have waited until the grandmother passed to open the box and be like, nah, I'm good. (laughs) And close it up and... (laughs) Or threw it away or whatever. So, it... It was definitely a movie's got a movie moment. I know a lot of us are... Would be curious and would look, but to play it... Yeah, and especially when there's without, actual blood spots well, and stuff. And also intense. without reading all of it first. Yeah. Like, read all of the rules and stuff first. If you have to prick your finger and put a drop of blood on the thing and do all these specific things for an obvious ritual, maybe read the rules first. There's blood involved. <laughs> Well, yeah, the the whole, like, finger prick thing. It's not a board game. Honestly, what the biggest deterrence is, like, when the game ends, I'm like, no, I want to be teched in bed and asleep by then. (laughs) We're too old for this. (laughs) We're too old for this. (laughs) Nah, it's after nine. Nah, bye. (laughs) Got shit to do in the morning. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, um... Also, the the leak in the beginning in the greenhouse kind of area was way faster than the little saucer that they had under it could handle. And I was sitting here like, maybe turn the water to that area off (laughs) until you need it. Or get a bigger bucket under it, at least. (laughs) Something, tighten the bolt that's there, anything. I'm just sitting here as a homeowner, like... And then there's, like, the... the You have to pay for for water! (laughs) The Teflon tape and all. Yeah. 
The horror. <laughs> <laughs> the horror of homeownership. <laughs> Sitting here just watching bill. money drip down. <laughs> like and the, the rate of the leak changes throughout the movie, too. Mm. So I'm sitting here like, <laughs> just double whammy. Um, so many clocks. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> and including on their phones. So they couldn't at the very end, which really bugs the crap out of me first off. That's, that's one of the biggest issues I had with this movie because it's so heavily rules based. They had to wait until 3.33 in the morning, we assume, <laughs> for the game to be over. They never actually specifically say a.m. or p.m. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, oh, what time zone? <laughs> if the Midnight Man doesn't like to lose, also, what time zone <laughs> is it? Eastern. <laughs> standard time is it central pacific somewhere overseas like but these rules are really so loose, loose. it's like to... gremlins yeah don't eat after or don't feed the gremlin after midnight midnight what time zone the current time zone it should have it would have been better if they said you have to avoid him for three hours and 33 minutes that would have been a hell of a lot more clear and it wouldn't be as ambiguous. <laughs> they could have worked that a little bit if they actually did wait until 3.33 <laughs> and he was like, ah. <laughs> but you really p play fast and loose with that kind of thing when it's time-based like that. Yeah. And you're not very specific on, instead of giving a time, it, it would definitely be better if you gave a time frame of hours minutes seconds whatever yeah i found it interesting that it was a very nice semi-furnished attic i feel like that was a bit unusual but interesting um when they first pull out the box from the trunk and the guy says oh someone didn't want it opened like ever i love how that equates to some twine that's easily pulled off <laughs> They didn't even glue the box or tape it. They put twine around it. How is that? Oh, someone really didn't want this box opened ever. That's like a present. Sweetie, that's begging to be opened. <laughs> like that would fall open. Um, also, the blood dots on the paper would not still be that red. Blood dries and turns brownish. <laughs> um... The guy looked through the entire box and she was sitting right there watching him go through the entire box. And he just happened to find the rest of the rules right after she walks away. Movie's got a movie. <laughs> Gotta avoid him till 3.33. Again, what time zone? <laughs> um, I don't understand why the third wheel friend had to join the game to help them. That made no sense to me whatsoever. She could have easily helped them without joining. She was safe, even in the house, apart from safe from grandma, because she definitely wasn't, um, by not joining the game. She could have still walked with them around the house. She could have held another lighter or matches or something. She could have gotten extra salt for them. Whatever. But sure, sure, join the game just for another movie's got a movie moment and to give us an example of what happens when you fail against the Midnight Man. Uh, again, the leak changed the rate that it was dripping. Um, it was slower later. In her scene where she died. Because mm. it was super fast in the beginning. <laughs> um, the heart-to-heart -heart chat at a bad moment. Yeah. <laughs> Worst friends ever. Yeah. Um, the doctor, when he said, that's not your grandmother anymore. She's being used as a conduit. And then gets offed by the grandmother. Mm-hmm. 
Also, my Annie? <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> um, also, if they did survive, main character was going to be put away for, at minimum, manslaughter. <laughs> For all of the death. Yeah. Um, they also got cocky. I would have stayed there until at least dawn. <laughs> Possibly 3.33 in the afternoon, at least. Probably 4 in the afternoon, just because. Again, not specific. <laughs> um, where is the Midnight Man taking the bodies? Because he was dragging a couple of them away. <laughs> like, where is he taking these yeah. bodies? Yeah. Where are they going? Down to the depths of Why? hell. <laughs> um, and again, with the time thing, they didn't think to check their phones. Just to make sure that that clock wasn't a little bit off. <sighs> just like, why take a chance? Again, they got cocky. And they're also anxious and so probably, stupid. like, hoping for the best. They were so but, stupid. Yeah. They were so stupid. Um, awesome effects. The blood, again, did look a touch watery. Um, and then at the very, very end, what kind of dad lets their kid get a sealed box with stuff rattling around in it without opening it first? Yeah. Bad parent alert. But that's what I got. So, yeah, like if you haven't seen this movie, you never rated it. Oh shoot! <laughs> Thought you'd slip it past, huh? I'll I'll give it a two point five. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> same Z's. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend if you haven't seen this movie. Um, at least to us, this is a pretty good movie. It was definitely interesting and fun. Um. But, yeah, you know, we should go and look into the creepypasta to see how many similarities they have. But This one had some really good scares. They had great tension yes. building. There were a couple of points where you see the Midnight Man in the background. <laughs> and they don't draw as much attention to it. That's it. So it's, to oh, it's and, great. It's oh, great. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today and let us know what you thought of the movie. If you'd like to recommend a movie game or tea, you can leave us a comment or join our Discord. And if you'd like to keep up to date with our content, you can find our link tree listed below. If you'd like to support us monetarily, we have a Teespring and a PayPal, or we have our affiliate link with Republic of Tea available. It does not affect the price of the tea, it just allows us to continue to do what we love. And you can find all of the sites mentioned link below. But until the next time, guys, stay safe and stay spoopy. Bye! Bye.